When drawing a quarter circle in isometric, well once again you're going to start with the solid that it will be connected to first, as you can see here in this front view and top view and third angle with the graphic projection. So I've drawn out the solid that it would be connected to, and then the same as with a half circle, we're going to again here have to draw the entire construction for an isometric circle. Despite the fact we're only drawing a quarter of a circle, we need the whole construction to be able to correctly complete this quarter circle in isometric. And once again, the most important point to start off with here is going to be the center point of the circle. And we can see that the center point of our quarter circle is over there, which we already have over here. And from that center point, I've drawn a construction line going up, and we already have our line here. So we're going to again with a diameter of 50 millimeters for this circle, we're going to go and measure 25 millimeters up and 25 millimeters down from that center point. So there's my 25 millimeters up, there's my 25 millimeters down, and then I'm going to draw two construction lines, one through the line at the top, one through the line at the bottom and then there we have our square that we're going to use for our isometric construction and the usual construction technique we're going to use we're going to go from the one obtuse corner of our square to an opposite center point and we're going to draw a line and then again from the same obtuse corner to opposite center point and we're going to draw a line and we are then also going to join our two acute corners with the line and now that we've completed that that's our normal full construction for a isometric circle but we only need this little arc over here and that arc over there would be formed by taking your compass, placing it on the obtuse corner opposite the arc that you're looking for and then going and drawing the arc and there's our quarter circle now to complete the front part of that quarter circle you have to go and draw in a, a single line going down which would then give the front end of that quarter circle and then of course we've also got another little piece on the end here which we're going to see so we're going to go and draw that in we do that by simply going starting off with a construction line from that corner and then from the depth line over here we could put another construction line in so we could see that there'd be a line shown at the back there and then we'd go and darken this line so that completes the back end of the isometric but now again same as with our half circle we need a bit of a depth so we're going to need to require another piece another arc over there to show the depth of this uh, this quarter circle and same as what we do with the half circle, instead of going and redrawing that whole square construction, we're going to simply go and draw the outline of the square. So I'm going to take this point across, be the joining line, and then I'm going to draw out that back line over there. And now we're going to again take this point where we placed our compass to draw the, draw the force first arc and we are going to draw a line, a 30 degree line from that point. Okay, which you can clearly see there, there's our 30 degree line and we're going to then go and measure off a new point the depth that we have here away from that point. So our depth there is 15 millimeters so we're going to go and measure from that point 15 millimeters up on that line and we're going to mark off where we would have to place our compass and then our compass, we ha I haven't changed the size of my compass 
It's easiest to do. Don't change the size of your compass because now the size of my compass is already set on the same size as I used to draw that arc. So all I'm going to do is move my compass along to the next point and I'm going to go and draw in my second arc and that I'm then going to join with another line from the end of this arc And there I have my quarter circle and isometric.